y'all and welcome to my channel thanks for joining me here uh, as you can probably see from the title this is my uh, classic plan with me for this week and I had to actually like open my Google Calendar and look just to make sure I can't believe that Easter is this upcoming week like where did that come from I don't know how that happened uh, <laughs> but anyway so I thought oh my gosh it's Easter I need to do like a spring theme and maybe put some little Easter eggs in there um, and just kind of incorporate spring colors. So I pulled out this like floral washi that I've had that I just never really used very much. I think it's really pretty and it ended up working really well with the other stickers I used. Um, so I'm just cutting off the edges there of the washi and using my ruler and my X-Acto knife that I found. I thought that I left it um, somewhere and I I've had it so anyway that really helped me uh, to cut my washi so now I'm looking through one of my memory keeping books the holidays one and looking at the uh, spring and like Easter stickers and those florals immediately popped out uh, to me and now I'm just looking through my sticker organizer I just have all different stickers in there um, colorful boxes just kind of like getting an idea of the colors I want to use um, I really, I knew going into it, I wanted to do some uh, layering of stickers. So I wanted to use, you know, some boxes um, behind some of the words and, you know, just try to, try to be creative and be fun. And I pulled out my uh, old school rainbow book. This book I had like when I first started with the Happy Planner and I actually, I pretty much used the entire thing. Um, and I went to Tuesday morning about six months ago and they had one for like five bucks. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the rainbow book. I still like it. Even though it's one of the older ones, I think it still works. So as you can see here, I took the green from the rainbow book because it went really well with this spring sticker that was in one of those memory keeping books. Oh, I love that. Isn't it cute? I covered up that Monday through Friday section on the dashboard layout because, uh, I normally use that for events and... You know appointments and things and I just I don't know since we have a lot less going on now all of us um, I thought I'd just cover that up and use it to decorate all right so now we are <laughs> going back to the colorful boxes and I'm just trying to decide kind of using that sticker that I put down as a basis for the colors I'm going to use so that sticker in particular had like all different colors it had purple in it green yellow pink red so it really gave me a lot of room to work so i went back to my sticker organizer i found an easter sticker that i wanted to put on sunday um and i wanted to layer it with one of the colorful boxes so i just stuck that right there on the sunday box in a minute i'll stick it down just trying to figure out where i want to put it <laughs> okay yeah so that's cute see it's just a little like Oh, so here is when um, I realized that my nail polish, like, that I have on, it, like, rubbed against the page and left a mark. It's a matte polish, and it I didn't realize that it did that. So, anyway, that's what I was doing with the eraser. <laughs> so, now I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do next. Um, again, I knew that those florals, like, oh, they just spoke to me this week. Um, the, the stickers from the Happy Memory Keeping books are some of my favorites. I just think they're gorgeous. And I knew I wanted to use this like giant flower sticker. I used a little whiteout to cover up the text there um, on the calls and emails box because I just I'm not really using it right now. There's just a lot less going on and I feel like I don't need to um, track as much in my planner. So just trying to make use of more of my stickers during this less busy time. And here I'm just Cutting off the edge of that sticker. I was struggling a little bit. Had to pull out the scissors. Uh, <laughs> I was I was having a time. Trying to get that edge perfect there. Sometimes it can be kind of a pain. Um, and I, like I said in my last video, my scissors are just garbage. I, I need to get, once quarantine's over, I'm going to go out and I'm going to buy some, buy some nice stickers. Because <laughs> I... So once quarantine's over, I'm going to go out and buy some some nice scissors because um, mine are terrible. So, so finally got the uh, edge cut off there. And now I'm trying to figure out 
what to do next, going back to the rainbow book. I know I wanted to incorporate some yellow over there and I was going to cover up the um, errands. The uh, errands and the, what is it, shopping or to buy. I knew I wanted to cover that up. So I just used uh, two of the yellow stickers to kind of tie in the yellow from that spring sticker on the right hand side. Um, okay. And just figuring out what to do next. I knew I wanted to use more florals. So just trying to figure out where I wanted to put them. And just kind of looking through and deciding what I wanted to do. I tried not to overthink this spread too much because sometimes I can get a little anxious when I'm putting down stickers and you know it's got to be perfectly straight and I just tried not to overthink it. You can see there that I, um, I layered a flower sticker with one of the round stickers from the rainbow book that said hello today. It was yellow and it had a gold accent. I just thought it was really cute. And I wanted to layer it with a flower. And then, ooh, that, oh god, I love that sticker. I love putting floral stickers in the corner. I just, there's something about it. I love that sticker. I love the way it looks. All right, so I'm going in my colorful boxes here. Used a green box. And I put down that Easter egg hunt sticker. Obviously, I'm not going on an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> but, but, I mean, it's Easter and I just, Felt like it was a cute sticker and I wanted to use it. I can go on a pretend Easter egg hunt. Or, you know, if I had Animal Crossing, I'd be doing it, but I don't have it. If you're chewing, I'm eating a Hot Pocket at 2 in the morning because that's my life right now. Putting down... The bee stickers were so cute, I just had to use them. And then I used another bee sticker on the other side because I wanted to kind of tie in the bee theme on both sides. This sticker was giving me trouble. I wanted to use the banner because I'm off on Friday for Good Friday. So I wanted it to be like celebrating my day off, but I just couldn't get it to lay down right. And then I kind of hated it and I tried to pull it up, but it ripped the paper. That normally doesn't happen, but that stick, I don't know, it just wanted to rip the paper up. So I said, okay, well, I guess we're going to have to live with it, but I ended up liking it in the end. So. And I was looking for a sticker that said day off, and I looked through like all my books and couldn't find any. So, I mean, I know I, I don't have a lot of the newer books. I'm trying to just use what I have right now, um, particularly with, you know, being quarantined. <laughs> But I swore I had some that said day off, but maybe I use them all. Who knows? So here I was looking through the- this, this is what I was doing. I was looking through the productivity book, trying to find something that said day off. But I did end up finding a really cute, um, like, hexagon to put there on Friday. And since I couldn't find a day off sticker, I found one that said relax in the um, Gold Star Quotes book, which is one of my all-time favorite Happy Planner sticker books. I have two of them. And I've used quite a few of them, and I'm trying to, like, I kind of hoard them. Um, so I put down relax since I'm off. Since I couldn't find day off, I thought relax worked just as, you know, just as well. And here I'm looking through my sticker organizer. I was trying to put down a payday sticker. <clears throat> I was trying to put down a payday sticker. Uh... <laughs> And it just wasn't like fitting with all the other stuff that I had going on. So I went and I reached for my budget book. I knew I had a, a small little like dollar sign sticker in there somewhere. And I just placed that down just to remind myself that it's payday and to pay all my bills and all that. So I put that down. And also I put it with relax because it is not lost on me. Uh, you know, the fact that I'm getting a paycheck right now in this crisis and many people aren't so you know I kind of put it with relax like just relax you're still getting a paycheck it could be so much worse everything's gonna be okay so here I was layering some more of those floral stickers from that happy memory keeping book the holidays one um, I just love those florals they're so pretty and just cutting off the, the edges there with my crappy scissors 
<laughs> They're so bad. Yeah, I really like how those florals came out. And then I wanted to put some more on the left side here. And just cutting off the edges. This purple one is so pretty. I ended up putting it in the corner there. I really like how that came out. And cutting off the edges. And trying to make it perfect. And struggling with my bad scissors. <laughs> and here I'm looking through and I knew I wanted to put um, one or two more florals down. So I put one there. In the bills section. And here I'm just trying to figure out what to put down next. I love this sticker that says, girl, you're going places. I just, I love it. And it was green and it matched with the, the green on the other side. So I just thought it was perfect. And I wanted to cover the box that said focus. Um, just because, I don't know, no reason. I could have just left it as, as it was, but I wanted to use one of the colorful boxes stickers. And then I put, um, another sticker on top of that. I believe I did Don't Forget. Just to, you know, remind myself. Um, girl, you're going places and, you know, everything's gonna be alright. You got this. It's always good to remind yourself those things. And I'm almost done with my spread here. I didn't crowd it too much on the right hand side because I do still write quite a bit. Um, even with, you know, less things going on, I still fill in a lot of things over there on the right. So I didn't want to put too many stickers to where I couldn't, you know, write as much. And here, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I found one of my flip up journaling stickers that I also hoard and like never use because I love them. But it just matched so well. And it said no bad days, which I just think is so cute. And that was it. That's my finished spread. And I am really, really happy with it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with it. It's very spring. It's very Easter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and stay safe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.